Brian, there's still a very heavy law enforcement presence here in Davis County. The window to that UTA bus has been taken and to be processed for evidence to try to find possibly what kind of bullet may have struck the bus. And also investigators are here in Davis County still trying to figure out who and why on earth someone shot into the bus. This all happened around 515 this morning. The Davis County Sheriff's Office says they believe the shooter was target practicing inside the Manning Peach Orchard just off of Highway 89 when one of those bullets struck a UTA bus and a semi truck that were passing at the time. Now, the UTA bus was carrying passengers. Luckily, nobody was hurt, but it did startle everyone in this neighborhood, including people who were sleeping. We roll over and back to sleep, and within 10 minutes, maybe. Uh, we heard another pop, 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 three shots, and then a, a break of a few seconds, and then another pop, 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 three shots. And uh, I'm a hunter, so to me, it was pretty obviously, it, it sounded like a pistol. And right now, police are interviewing witnesses and those who heard the shots, trying to figure out who may have fired and why they were out doing so that early. It is illegal to discharge a weapon in this area of Fruit Heights and in Davis County. There are designated spots for that if you are hunting or, you know, whatever you're doing in that area. Now, uh, the person who is responsible for this will probably be in quite a bit of trouble if they are caught. If you have any information, you are asked to call the Davis County Sheriff's Office. Police do believe, though, that this was an accident, that nobody was intentionally trying to to hit the bus so they don't believe at this time that there's any danger to the public. However, it did startle a lot of people and of course a miracle that nobody was hurt. Reporting live in Davis County, Andrew Reeser, News 4, Utah.